Okay, guys. So we're gonna start with um, Andy's tank. So i-redecorate na natin. Pin-repair na natin yung mga gagamitin natin. The coco pit, the coco chips, talisay leaves, and the fake plants. Hi guys! So the first thing I did was gather some dried talisay leaves and then I decided to clean up the other reptiles' tanks and enclosures first. So check out their stories from my videos on their Scaly Saturday playlist. And then now that we're done with that, let's go ahead with the snakes' tanks. So here guys, if you can see, I did a... Um, this is actually the snakes' water bowls. This is where we will put the water bowls. So from my previous videos naman guys of the tanks that I made um, I showed you how to make this one so I didn't really put na yung from the beginning that you know from the styro and then the the tile grout so hindi ko na siya nilagay so eto na lang yung sinama ko yung yung uh, done na siya dry na and pinintan ko na lang so ayan so I used the same paint that I used every time yung latex paint and then I mix um, acrylic paint na lang to add color. This is what I love to snack on while doing projects. Nagaraya, bekenemen. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna start with um, Andy's tank. So i -re decorate na natin. Pin-repair na natin yung mga gagamitin natin. The coco pit, the coco chips, talisay leaves, and the uh, fake plants. And the uh, charva. And a rough rock. Para dyan siya magkikis-kis. Para... Ma maganda yung shed so pag-iisipan pa natin kung paano natin ipoporma yan kukunin mo si Andy <laughs> wait lang ma may black wala akong gloves tada there's Andy Andy feisty ba't hindi pa siya nagpupupi ano po siya yung gloves ma ay may pupi na siya at may shed na rin siya babe Wow. Ayun, pupi and shed. Nice. Nag-strike kasi to guys eh. Sira ulo to eh. <laughs> so we're gonna clean this up. Oops, oops. Paano to oh, yung shed niya oh? Nasa pupu. Oh, tatabi mo ba to? Mm. And this and this first shed with us. Oh. 
This one guys, I got a styro. So ayan, kung makikita nyo, kinat ko siya ng maliliit. The purpose of this styro is dyan ko isusok-sok or itutusok itong mga fake plants natin. So ayan, para lang may forma siya guys. Yung para makapag ano tayo, ayan, makapag flower decoration. <laughs> so ito guys, pinaporma ko lang yung mga pinaplano ko kung saan ko siya ilalagay na. So ito, as you can see, fixed na rin siya. Tapos, since tyro rin naman gawa yung ating ginawang sa water bowl. So, ayan, naglagay na lang ako ng like, uh, hot glue dun sa dulo ng mga plants. Tapos, tinuso ko siya din dun sa, ano, sa may lalagyan ng water bowl natin. Tapos, itong rock, ayan, um, hinot glue ko na lang din siya dun sa glass. Medyo kampante naman ako. Medyo, <laughs> medyo kampante naman ako na hindi siya babagsak. So, kasi if ever man bumagsak siya, babagsak din naman siya dun sa substrate. And um, kakalangan ko kasi siya nung pinaka-height niya eh. So, eto guys, kung nakita nyo, nilalagyan ko ng glue rin yung styro. Tapos, ni, sinasawsaw ko dun sa coco peat para yung coating nung styro. Medyo, ano naman, hindi naman kita yung styro natin. Ayan, so makikita nyo, hindi naman 100% coated. Pero at least... Uh, ayan, hindi nakita yung white na styro Tapos ayan, tinabunan ko na lang siya Nung mga kokopit sa gilid Para syempre, bongga Ayan So by the way guys If you're asking why I'm using um, Kokopit And yung mga kokopoko na substrate um, Because Meron lang akong nabasang article Or I think sa Ball Python group Na ang aspen daw or yung mga kusot is more prone sa molding. So, parang sabi nga nila, parang maganda yung mga uh, ganitong kind of substrate and at the same time, parang an may antibacterial channelin siya. So, I'm also considering if maglalagay ako ng springtails or isopods, pero I'm not sure. Uh, ayan, I, you will just see that on my future videos probably. So here guys, you will see that I'm removing the substrate. So actually, hindi to linis lang. Um, I'm replacing everything talaga. Um, so ito, yung nakikita nyo substrate niya, tinapon ko na rin siya talaga. Kasi um, hindi naman almost a year. Pero December, I think December or January ko kasi ginawa tong tank na to ni ni Hailey eh. So, medyo matagal-tagal na rin. So, I, I decided na i-replace na nga siya lahat. Kasi before, usually, we just remove the poop, ganyan, linis lang, konti, punas ng salamin, ganyan. So, I think it's about time to replace the whole, uh, the whole thing, yung buong substrate niya. Ayan. Yung sa mga plants niya naman, guys, actually, I still use the old ones, tapos nagdagdag na lang din ako ng bago. Inayos ko lang siya kasi yung mga dati niyang mga, itong mga plastic plants niya. As in, talagang taob-taob na talaga lahat. Sinira niya, sinira niya na lahat. So, parang inayos ko na lang siya. Tapos, parang niredecorate ko yung kanyang um, tank. 
Kasi dati, yung water bowl niya kasi dyan, parang Tupperware lang. So, parang sabi ko, ang ganda-ganda nung enclosure niya, naturalistic. Tapos biglang may Tupperware sa loob. <laughs> so, kaya din ako nag-decide actually talaga na gumawa nung, ano, nung tile grout na, na lalagyan ng water bowl para bumagay naman. <laughs> So there you go guys. I hope you like this video and please, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!